Directors from all across various sectors gathered recently for the annual PNG ID Awards Night to recognize the outstanding achievements of directors in 2017. Oil Search Chairman Rick Lee addressed the event, highlighting the high standards now expected of directors. According to Mr. Lee, shareholders had moved on from just looking at financial performances. Long gone are the days when a board's primary role was simply to maximise profits of a particular enterprise and oversee reinvestment and or distribution of dividends to shareholders. Time frames are important, but market participants and commentators vary greatly in their time horizons. And directors, as always, must understand these various perspectives and ultimately exercise wisdom and judgment in their decision making. Given the increasing workload expected from directors in Papua New Guinea, the PNG ID is working with the University of Papua New Guinea to develop a course that sets minimum benchmarks for aspiring directors. According to PNG ID President Anthony Yaoyeb, this course is expected to be launched in 2019. In the first instance, we want to establish a competency framework that can guide directors about the skills, knowledge and capabilities they should seek to acquire and develop at different stages of their careers as directors. This has started in earnest with the current training program we offer and the planned launch of the Graduate Diploma in Corporate Governance by the University of Papua New Guinea in the beginning of next year. Furthermore, the PNG ID is also finalizing legislation to make it a statutory organization similar to that of accountants and lawyers. This is to ensure that high standards are maintained. We'll continue to pursue the other strategic projects that previous boards have commenced. Not only the Director's Pipeline Project, but also the PNG ID Legislation Project to establish PNG ID as a statutory body and to build a database of our membership to allow a matching of directors with boards according to a criteria that is important to these companies. Also on the night, several awards were given recognizing outstanding director performances in 2017. Charles Lee was awarded Young Director of the Year, Female Director of the Year Award went to Faye Zin Alalo, and Peter Aitzi took out the Best Male Director for 2017. Bank South Pacific received the award for Best Annual Report for the second year in a row, with Kina Bank being awarded the Innovative Company of the Year Award for its services to the banking sector in 2017.